so I've always wanted to build my own audio LED strip. However, a lot of the DIY tutorials I saw were very bland or built using prepackaged hardware that readily handled music for you. In most cases, those LED strips could only handle one color change or are very limited in its style. I wanted my LED strip to go batshit crazy. So what I did was I found an open source library in Python that did just that, and all I needed was to buy some hardware. So I went and bought everything I thought I needed on Amazon, and I might have bought a bit too much. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is flush this bad boy, this guy right here, into the breadboard and make sure it's tightly in there. So it got a hair click. So let's go get a click. It takes a while. And you hear the click, that means it's flushed. Don't worry about this Arduino uh, pie here. We're not using it. So there you go, that's flushed. So here's some circuitry picture that I pulled from the internet. And this is what I'm trying to follow. And it looks like I need an LED strip, a power supply, a capacitor, and a resistor. I did contemplate removing the resistor and the capacitor from the circuitry, but I decided today it was not the day to die. Oh, and because I'm such a great engineer, I also remember the power law. The power law states that P equals I times V, which means power equals the current times voltage. So some quick maths shows that since my LED strip has a rating of 90 watts and 5 volts, I needed a power supply that can support 18 amperes. So I looked on Amazon and found these scary looking power supplies. Then I looked at some videos of how to hook it up and I was terrified, man. Dude, like, I feel like if I made a mistake in one of these power supplies, I'm gonna blow some shit up for reals. So instead, I found a 5 volt, 15 ampere power supply that just looks like your normal laptop adapter with surge protection and everything. But the only downside was that I had to cut my LED strip into a 15, sorry, not 15, 75 watt strip. Okay, now that I have everything, it was time to build a circuitry. Disclaimer here, I am not an electrical engineer. I know nothing about circuitry. So I will be following the diagram religiously. So now I am going to hook up the power supply with the LED strip. I'm going to match the red wire here to the positive terminal here. And then I'll match the black wire to the negative terminal. And we're going to have to screw them both down pretty tight. Let's see here. Yeah, I think that's tight enough. I'm actually going to loosen this one up a little bit to put in more. Okay, perfect. I'm going to tighten this one down. Now these are both hooked. See how they're hooked to the negative and the plus? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our data wire here and I'm going to wrap a resistor on it. And actually here I changed to using a 470 ohms resistor and we're going to plug that to the corresponding uh, RX pin for our node MCU. So what I believe will be here. Here we go. All right, and then you can see matching the RX pin, right? Double check, yep. And then we want to put this white one to the ground. So here's the ground. Okay, and that's it. And the red one, we don't care about. And finally, for the last step, we need to put a capacitor here into the terminal. And so we want to plug the positive side, which is the longer leg, and also the opposite side of the big minus sign here into the positive terminal and then the negative side into the negative terminal. So be here. And I already like unscrewed it. So they're kind of loose right now. Maybe a bit too loose. All right. 
and let's plug this capacitor inside. Perfect. And then we'll have to screw it back in. Okay. The same here. Oops. Maybe too hard. Okay, and that's it. One more thing, we need to connect the micro USB of the node MCU here. So plug it in here and then plug it into your laptop so you can upload to the to the Arduino sketch. All right, so we can upload it here. Go in, there we go. I won't be showing you how to set up the open source library or how to use the Arduino sketch. Those are well documented and self-explanatory and they'll be shared in the description. And now let's connect our power supply. So to verify our LED is working, we can write this command in the open source library, say python led.py. And you should see the LED working properly here. And then to fully play the visualization, we need to hook up some music to our computer and then let the strip react to it. Okay, so now we just run Python visualize pi, loads up this UI, you should see IRED is currently lit up and it will auto respond to our music. Let's just play something here. I'm gonna close the lights. <laughs> then you can also play different modes as well. For example, here you can change the settings here. Scroll, for example. We'll do another mode. Then spectrum, another one. And there you have it guys. Hope you have fun making this project.